Hey guys, it's Anu here from Lovell Soccer, once again in the Lovell Soccer boot room and today we have got in the Superfly 360 in the latest release colorway as well as that, these, the firm ground pair and also the Vapor 12s, the Vapor 360s. Now, I'm really keen and excited about these. As you've seen, you've seen the likes of, you know, Ronaldo, Neymar sporting these already. But what we're gonna do today is take a closer look at them in terms of the colorway and the specs of these boots. What I'll do is actually start off with the Firm Ground Superfly 360. Now, this sees the return of what I must say is arguably the best boot in the football market, personally, for me. To begin with, guys, I think we should take a closer look at the colours Nike have actually used on this boot. At a first glance, you can tell straight away it's pretty much orange all the way around. However, they have actually done most of the branding in this boot in black. So as you can see here, you've got the Mercurial brand in there going along the rear of the boot in white, as well as that, the big M, once again, standing for Mercurial. I'm sure you guys knew that, um, in black but with a kind of reflective finish. Now there are two Nike swooshes on the boot, one in the toe box area, and they've actually managed to create that from a few like lines, as you can see there in a close up. And then on the instep or me uh, medial side of the boot, you've then got this Nike swoosh, which is slightly larger than the one on the toe box, and then obviously flying it ACC brand in there in black. Moving on to the sole plate, guys, you can see it's got a really nice chrome finish. Now, this is arguably, for me, the best finish to a sole plate you'll ever find. Like, that looks absolutely amazing. But I am going to give this boot, guys, personally, a 10 out of 10 in terms of the look. See, look, I'm so excited I'm hitting the table. But yeah, a 10 out of 10 for this boot in terms of the colours and even when you look to the little detail guys on the laces they've got like little kind of glittery kind of finishes to the laces like Nike have thought about every aspect of this boot I absolutely love it let me know what you guys think in the comments below but what I'll do now is just talk briefly really quickly about the technical aspects of the boot it's made out of fly knit so it's a knitted upper which means it's really really soft in the toe box area and the upper which is what you would want in a football boot so what I'll do really quickly is take that out so you can actually see and take there's one more inside Come on. Let's put these down. so as you can see now the upper toe box really soft really flexible and that's because as i said it's made out of a knitted upper however they've got a synthetic nike skin covering holding it all together really nicely so your foot should you know fit into these boots like a sock really you're going to get that barefoot sensation when you make contact with the ball which is what you want as well as that nike have included this 3d texturing um, which allows for you to make you know consistent um, touch on the ball and also better control the ball because most footballs now actually have you know grip dots on them as well so with that included and this the lines that you can see along here on the boot you're going to get a really nice touch on the ball then you've got Nike's new 360 technology. It's a one piece upper. There's no seams, nothing whatsoever. And for me, it's mind boggling. I don't understand how they've done that. They've managed to do it. It's absolutely amazing. You're going to get a nice flush touch on the ball every time you shoot, pass, whatever you want to do, go for a bicycle kick. You're still going to get the same touch as if you just made a two yard pass. It's a win win situation. So, guys, that's, you know the upper done you've then obviously got the dynamic fit color which for me is lower than the superfly fives but i actually prefer that and a lot of the top players used to actually cut the top of their superfly fives just because they liked them a lot shorter so i think nike's you know seen that and they thought you know what for the sixes the superfly 360 we're going to drop the color down a bit and they've done so here they've even included a nice pull tab there for you to put them on a lot easier so all in all guys so far pretty good from nike you've then got the internal heel counter here guys which should hold your foot in place as i said that's really important in football because you don't want your heel area moving around within the boot now what i'm gonna do really quickly as well is take out the insole um, which is actually made out 
of a single layer of foam, decent you know, amount of padding to it, which should reduce any stud pressure. So obviously when you're running with these boots, you don't want to be getting you know, little blisters on the bottom of your foot from the pressure you would have playing football. So really nice for Nike to have you know, pretty standard you know, bit of foam in the insole. Nothing too special there. And then finally guys, for me, the best part of this boot, the sole plate. Just check that out guys. And I'm gonna run through the sole plate of these two side by side. They're pretty much similar. However, these are the anti-clogs. This will reduce the amount of mud you get on the, when you, you know, taking off on the pitch or cutting. You know, most boots will actually gather a lot of mud around the boots. But with the anti-clogs, that won't happen. So, you know, if you want that and you're playing on soft grass every week, you know, these are the pairs you definitely want to get. If you're playing on firm ground, you want these bad boys. And they're a combination of actually just arrow-shaped studs. And that's for better traction. So, you know, when you're about to take off on the pitch, you're going to get a lot of grip and tear to take off when running on the pitch as well as that it's actually split into two which is a first i've never seen that before if you have comment below because i would like to know i personally have never seen that and essentially the reason why they've been able to do that is because of that 360, 360 technology which holds the boot together really nicely and wraps your foot in place they've managed to be able to now take a bit of weight off the boot because of that and split the um, sole plate into two and then internally you've got a little ridge in there a little bar which you know makes the midfoot section to heel section of the boot really firm for good grounding on the pitch all in all guys i'm a big fan of this boot i'm actually going to give it a nine out of ten and i'm really interested to know what you guys think so get commenting let me know what you think about them as i said this is the anti-clog version of the boots the only real difference is really is that it's a combination of conical and um, bladed studs so the conical studs allowing for better rotation when turning on the pitch the bladed studs as i mentioned earlier for better traction and then obviously also you've still got the kind of standard sole plate look so it's not split on the anti-clog version of the boot lastly you've got the vapor 12s now or the Vapor 360s, also known as exactly the same tech specs as these. The only difference, obviously, is that you don't have the dynamic fit color. And that's the first time that has ever happened with a pair of Vapors. Usually, you do have a slight difference in what's here under the lacing system. However, the reason why they've both got the 360 branding is because they've actually all got the same exact tech specs, apart from the fact that this doesn't have the dynamic fit color. And then lastly, as you all know, they're all branded with ACC, as you can see there, all condition control, which will allow these boots to perform in wet weather, which is really important in England, where it's always snowing, it's actually snowing. It was actually snowing a couple of days ago, raining, chucking it down, which is really important because they will perform as well as they do in dry weather, in wet weather, which is really cool. So these guys, the Vape uh, 360, are retailing at 210 on the Lovell Soccer website. So make sure you go and check that out. The link's in the description below. While the Superfly 360s are retailing at 230 on the website as well. So make sure you go and check those out. They're in the description below. And that's the end of the review. Let me know your thoughts on these guys. And until next time, see you later.